This is to show you five basic techniques to clean up street view uh, when you bring them into your uh, SketchUp models as a photo texture. First step, obviously, is to get your photos from street view from the Add Photo technique in SketchUp. And in this uh, shot, I'm taking a copy, cloning that so that I can um, show a before and after when this is over. So you can see the uh, changes that were made using these five techniques. I make each one a unique texture so they won't interfere with each other when I'm finished. When you save this, uh, you don't want it to overwrite the first one. So I'm opening Photoshop. This is Photoshop CS5, but uh, all of these techniques are in the last four versions of Photoshop. First one is to go to Edit and Transform and pick Skew, or you could pick Distort or one of the others, but I like Skew to straighten up the major lines. And just by tweaking or pulling one corner, you can straighten up all of those window lines. And we'll further straighten them later. And the next one is Levels. If you only do one thing to fix a picture, Levels should be it. Levels is the real killer technique to fix pictures in, photo, in Photoshop. It takes it from a muddy, dark picture to a bright, sunny day picture. And then my favorite tool is the smudge tool. You hold the shift key down while you're using the smudge tool. It makes everything straight automatically. So it's very quick. And I've done a little bit of fast um, video here just to speed things up. But this technique is very quick once you get used to it and use the right pen sizes. You can see that you can pretty much fix an awful lot of that distortion and distractions with just the smudge tool. It really has become my favorite tool for fixing. And it makes a low res uh, photo picture from Street View look like a more professional high-res pretty quickly. And then you can make a little trick I like to do is if people are standing in front of windows, make them part of the window. And you can do this just with a few smudge tool um, techniques. So now these people who were standing in front of the windows are either reflections in the windows or now they're inside the building looking out. And that's a lot quicker than trying to take them out using clone or something else. So the smudge tool can be used very effectively to fix pictures in Photoshop for SketchUp Street View pictures. And then use the um, Dodge tool to brighten things up. I used to use this in a dark room to do things, but now I can use it with Photoshop. Then finally the Clone Stamp tool, which I don't like to overuse, but there are parts of this model that have details that can only be fixed with the Clone Stamp. You can't make everything, so you have to kind of clone the best parts to other parts. The detail on the right side of the building, which was covered by a tree on the left side, can be added back in, for example, as you see here. And a little bit at the bottom. And then use the Dodge tool again to brighten. And you can use a little blur, too, on this to um, blur the reflection so it's not quite as sharp so it looks more like a reflection. Then save this file. It goes into your temp file so it will change the existing texture in your SketchUp model automatically once you save it. There's no special extra saving required. And you can see here, now we have an after on the left and a before on the right. And you can see the difference that those five little techniques make in fixing your Street View photos for modeling. If you take all the time to do the modeling in SketchUp, you want your textures to look their best. And this is one way to do it. And again, after and before. So I've cleaned up my street view with a few little tricks.